Hello, this is Michael Cook with Sun Wind Solar. Today we're going to make a chariot of the sun. This was originally made by Arnold McCutcheon, who's our prime inventor. I'd like you to see that we have here, we're going to roll these on two CDs or two DVDs here. This is the solar panel. This is a clip to hold the solar panel onto the base. The base is a piece of coroplast. We'll be using a motor with a 10 tooth gear on it, a motor clip, a couple of CD hubs, two axles, one in case uh, something wears out, a couple of uh, brass washers, you'll see where they go, and a 50 tooth gear, which is going to be driving the axle. To begin with, I would normally we'd provide some sandpaper just in case you need to clean off the ends of the axles or just make sure they're smooth and not splintery. Not too big a deal on that. The next thing I would do is to put the gear, the 50 tooth gear, onto the axle and slide it on so that you've got maybe a quarter of an inch showing. Uh, the next thing here then is to, what we usually have found is that you use the third hole down, that'll work quite well for putting the axle on. Now you can see that I've made a mistake, but it's simple to do. Back out, there's the brass washer there. Another brass washer on the other side, so those are the two pieces up against the core plast base. You then put a CD hub on one side and a hub on the other side. And you're ready to go there. Now we're going to move ahead to putting the clip on for the solar panel because that's a bit awkward and is best done now. So you can really, what you've got to do is sort of work it over the top. Or, if you like, you can take the axle off and slide it along sideways, but it does that. It's a bit awkward, oops, and a bit stiff, but there you want to have it roughly center. Now that we're ready for that, we can go back to this and put the motor into the motor clip. And then this is a sticky back. Peel the protective label off of that, the protective backing. and. Here is kind of the tricky part. You want to come in on the gear, but not too tightly, so that things are a little loose for rolling. And you've got the option of moving this a bit if you like. You can unstick it a bit and just make sure you've got kind of an ideal position. That looks pretty good. Uh, we've got options here too if you, do, you can slide the motor back and forth because it'll slide in the clip, which is something to think of future. And here, we're about ready to put the solar panel on. What I found is that if you take and take off the sticky back label again, or the backing, you want the motor weight on one side and the solar panel on the other. So if you were here about oh an eighth to a quarter from the top of the solar panel, that seems to be a nice place to put it. With the clip you can slide sideways a bit got that in place so now we've wires you can come underneath to hook onto the motor what I prefer to do is to tuck it tuck the wires under the solar panel and they'll come and then at this point we just use the alligator clips to clip onto the back of the motor and here you'll be able to if you find that it's rolling in a direction you don't want it to roll and you want it to roll the other way you can reverse the alligator clip test leads at the back of the motor and the motor will run backwards. Okay, the CDs go on next. Pretty straightforward. Or in this case, the DVDs. And clip the other one on the other side. Now here you can use what we've supplied or you can use your own favorite colored ones. And there you go, it's Chariot of the Sun. Pretty much ready to take off.